In this video, I will be showing you how you can integrate your form solution with Facebook custom audiences. Now, you have to understand why this integration is very important. Let's say you are getting some pre-sales query from different customers out there. So just in case if you are getting any pre-sales query, you can actually create a custom audiences for those pre-sales query and add those persons to Facebook custom audiences so that you can run and show ads to those specific people anytime that you want. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that with the help of Pabli Connect. So what I have done is I've already created a pre-sales form where person can come in and they can actually ask their pre-sales query. And as soon as they ask their pre-sales query, what will eventually happen is we will be sending out this, the name of the person and the email address of this person inside the Facebook custom audiences so that you can on the other hand run Facebook ads on this very person who has asked you a pre-sales query. So let me just show you how you can do that. The very first thing that you are seeing right here is the pre-sales question. Okay. Uh, now we will head back to Pabli Connect and we will click on create new workflow and we will write pre-sales query to Facebook custom audience. So this is the name of our workflow and I'm just going to save this workflow. Okay. The next thing that you have to do is you just have to choose your form solution from which you are getting any kind of pre-sales query. In our case, we are getting this pre-sales query from Pabli Form Builder. So I'm just going to choose the name of the app as Pabli Form Builder. Then I will just click the button which is shown right here, which says capture webhook response. So this is actually waiting for a webhook response to come and the webhook response will actually come to this specific URL. So we will be just copying this URL and by going inside the Pabli Form Builder dashboard, we will be adding this webhook URL inside the panel which is available inside integration and webhook. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste the webhook URL right here and I'm just going to save the new webhook. By saving this webhook, what will eventually happen is that whenever any submission happens inside this form, all those submission will directly reach to Pabli Connect dashboard right here. Let me just show you an example. So what I'm going to write, do right here is I'm just going to write the first name and last name of the customer. And this is my email address. I I'm interested to purchase. I am interested to purchase Pabli Connect. So this person has filled out this pre-sales form. And as soon as he fill out this form, he's going to submit it. Okay. The form is submitted and you can see the data is automatically captured inside Pabli Connect. And you can see Neeraj Agrawal magnetbrains251 at gmail.com is now added inside uh, Pabli Connect and it automatically came inside Pabli Connect. So the very next thing that we actually have to do is to send this data across to uh, Facebook custom audiences app. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select Facebook custom audiences. And then I'm just going to select add a user to custom audience because we really want to add this person to a custom audience inside Facebook. Okay. Then I'm just going to click on connect and you can basically authorize your application or your Facebook account by clicking this connect button, which will show the pop up right here because my account is already logged in. It has successfully authorized the whole details. So you can just click on okay and it shows you all the business accounts that you have. So I have already selected my business account. Then it shows the ad account. I have already selected the ad account and the custom audiences to which I want to add some data is the Pabli subscription billing customers. So it is just a typical process that I want to add this specific person to this specific custom audience list. Okay. And this list is something that is actually already created inside my Facebook account. The next thing that I have to do is I have to give the first name and the last name and the email of this person in hashed value. So this is something that we have to do because Facebook does not accept direct values. You can't send direct values to Facebook. You have to hash everything. And once you hash them, then only you can send the data. So in this specific case, you can see we have to hash three different values, which is the first name, last name, and the email address. And because we have to pass this hashed value right here, what we have to do is we have to 
go above right here and we have to convert this first name this last name and this email address to hashed values okay to convert something to hash value you have to use another application and we have to add that application in between the webhook response that we received on the step one trigger and between the facebook custom audiences so just so just click on this plus button right here okay and because we have to hash it three times so i'm just going to click this button three times so this is the second time and this is the third time. So you can see this is the first block, this is the second block and this is the third block. Okay. Now the in the inside the first block, you have to select the application by the name of data transformer right here. And inside this, you have to choose the method as SHA256. Then just click on connect and supply the first name of this person. So I'm just supplying the first name and you can then save and send a test request. And you can see the encoded and hashed value is available right here. On the next step, you have to repeat the very same thing, but for the last name. So I'm just going to select SHA-256 again. I'm going to connect it. This time, I'm just going to use the last name. And I'm again clicking on save and send test request. And on the third step, I have to hash the email address. So I'm just going to select the very same procedure and I'm just going to hash the email address. So you can see everything is hashed right now. The first name, the last name and the email address. So what we can eventually do is we can just click on this specific field right here and we can then click on this button. Now the problem that you will face because you have added a step in between is that you will not be able to see the values right here automatically. So you have to just reload this page once again. Okay, so I just reloaded this, uh, this specific uh, segment once again so that I can actually pass on the values on to the next step. And because the Facebook step was not saved earlier, it is again asking us to uh, create that step. Okay, so I'm just going to create that step again. So I'm just going to choose Facebook custom audience, add a user to a custom audience, clicking on connect button. I have already authorized my application, so I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to save it. Okay. And you can see business account is automatically selected, ad account is automatically selected and the Pabli subscription billing LTD customer is something to which we want to add this specific audience. Then just select the first name and this is the first name. Then select the last name. Last name is in API 3 value. So select the last name and then select the email address which is in API 4. So select the email address. So you can see first name, last name and email address. Everything is hashed now and it looks good to me so just click on save and send test request and you will be able to see that audience id which means this audience has been added successfully to facebook custom audiences and now you can just click on save and send test request which we already did and in future whenever this specific form is filled up and if you get any new pre-sales query this specific person will automatically be added inside your facebook custom uh, audience account automatically. So this means you can now run ads on this person who is asking you any pre-sales query that you want. So again, showing you the steps again, the first step was trigger through which we received our webhook response for Pabli form builder. The second step was data transformer through which we converted the first name to SHA-256. The second step is the last name conversion. The third step is the email conversion. And the last step is to map everything and give and supply the first name, last name and email address of the very same person. So I hope you understood the whole concept of how you can run ads to the very same person who is sending you a pre-sales inquiry. Again, this solution and this explanation is created using Pabli forms, but you can basically use any form solution out there available to you. Again. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to my team at admin at So thank you for watching this video.